Hey Geminis, I'm back. Welcome to your weekly love reading from today, uh, August 7th. I was like, what's today? <laughs> That's right, it's the seventh day before Lionsgate. Uh, all the way through to the 14th of August. So thank you for being patient, guys. As you guys know, um, I had some ascension symptoms I had to deal with and take care of. And by the way, thank you to Adriana. I know I talk to her all the time and she'll probably see this anyway. Hi, thank you. I feel so much better. Oh my God, she's a godsend. Uh, I had so much like facial pain neck pain and like even like down here was like very very painful instantly felt a lot better as you can tell my voice is back my voice is back and it feels good to hear my voice again in the way it's supposed to be heard <laughs> um i did a lot of meditating guys and oh my god I, I might talk about it in a live um i plan on going live sometime in the next few days and i definitely will be doing a full moon video as well live and i'll be scheduling that so don't worry but anyway i don't want to eat up your time <laughs> talking about that i just know some of you guys had were um asking me about it so i just wanted to give a little tidbit and anyway so for those who have been with me for a while i'm no longer doing pre-shuffle sessions but i will be talking about my meditative session and of course going ahead and doing the reading newbies don't worry about it y'all don't even know what it is okay gemini's oh your energy. <laughs> There's this sense of anticipation. Anticipation. Some of you, some of you are experiencing anxiety with this anticipation. Keep in mind, guys, the energy I pick up in the meditative in the meditative session is about energy in and around you. So it could be energy that you're experiencing or energy that someone you're connected to is experiencing. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, yeah, the sense of anticipation and incubation actually came to me as well. They showed me all these different versions of incubation processes. Um, something's been cooking, Gemini. Something's been cooking. You either have been aware of it or not. Um, someone around you could be cooking something up. It's like for some, there's a sense of trying to plan something, making plans and like waiting to act on it. Um, others, it's this incubation energy around like a connection. You know, it's like maybe you've been dating someone for a while and it's like, it's been slow, <laughs> been quite slow, but that's because things need to be ready. The right conditions need to be ready, right? Just like, you know, with, I'm trying to think of an equivalent to that with incubation, um, like with cooking, right? Cooking or, you know, baby making, you know, anything like that, all in due timing, right? Things need to be perfect, the right time, the right environment, all of that stuff until it's ready to be enjoyed so so to speak um i also was feeling this rise of energy gemini with again with that anticipation uh for some of you it's definitely sexual energy which hey to each their own enjoy that if you can release it hope you can um for some it's sexual energy it's like others it's almost like um, emotion others it's definitely emotion coming to the surface ready to come out ready to be purged ready to be released spoken ready to be spoken um, I also had a very interesting little visual that my, my spirit team gave me. It was so weird. So when I meditate, I, for the most part, I close my eyes and I saw like if someone were to be like standing across from me and looking at me, like that's what I saw. I was like, oh, how strange. I was like, this is interesting. Some of you I think will be having out of body experiences or be astraling or your astral experiences will be more intense. And keep in mind guys, Lion Gate, Lion's Gate is tomorrow. Full Moon in Aquarius is in a few days. So keep that in mind that it could be affecting some of you, especially if you have aqua placements or heavy Leo placements. Um, anyway, neither here nor there. I also have this energy of being watched, being looked at. Someone is seeing you, Gemini, or you could be seeing someone in their true light, in their true essence, who they really are, who they really are, really picking up on their energy accurately, seeing through them, seeing into them. I just got fear with that. Why did I just get fear with that? Some of you are afraid of this, of someone seeing you like this. And others, you're afraid of actually seeing someone like that because I think it's a, it's a first. Okay, I'm al it's so weird. I'm almost getting like both sides of the story or maybe I'm picking up on the twins. <laughs> the Gemini twins. Yeah, it's like I'm picking up on one energy that's afraid of being seen in that way. Like afraid of being just completely transparent, completely vulnerable. Like, oh my God, this person just sees everything in and about me. I can't hide anything. I can't hide anything. I just felt scorpionic energy with that. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, could have that in your chart. Um, and I'm picking up on another energy where it's like seeing someone like that, truly seeing someone, but it's like a first. It's like seeing someone accurately for the first time and it's a little scary. That's interesting. 
that's really interesting. Um, I, I know I got a lot of messages from you guys. And this one I thought was kind of like a little bit of a one-off. I think it just a lot of you might be just seeing Lion King because I actually heard Lion King. <laughs> I was like, oh, someone was like, a lot of you just might be seeing that movie. It's fantastic. I've seen it. It's great. Go watch it, please, by all means. Um, but then I heard I Am Here. I really liked that though. I really liked that. I Am Here. For those of you who have a telepathic connection, also ancestors. Okay. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are like hearing your guides for the first time. Um, others of you have a telepathic connection with someone and they're very present and they're a lot louder than they usually are. Some of you could just be expanding your abilities and that's why it's it's a little bit more intense than usual, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into your reading now that we're about five minutes in. Okay. Any messages for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th? They're telling me vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. Mm. Someone's feeling a little extra vulnerable. I'm also getting energy where, where people where it's okay. I'm getting like the whole spectrum here because it's energy, right? So we all work through it differently. So some you or people you're connecting to are in this state of being incredibly vulnerable. Others are on their way to it, knowing they, that they have to, they have to be vulnerable. There's a little discomfort with that though. There's discomfort with that. Any messages for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th? Any messages for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th? Making a move? I just heard making a move. Oh, and I just saw an eagle. Jesus, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> like I said, I'm going through another ascension. So the messages might be very quick and very clear and keep up. Just, I, I might have to talk really fast to get them all out. But I, yeah, I did just hear making a move, make a move. And I saw an eagle. Specifically, actually, I don't even have this deck. Um, who uses this deck? It's another spirit animal deck, but it's not this one. It's not this one. Um, damn it. I don't know the name of it, but it has like, it's really beautiful, by the way. The art of it's really beautiful. I know you guys know the deck I'm talking about. Um, it's black and white, but it has like splotches of color to it. And it's the eagle that has like its claws out and it's coming in like for the kill, essentially. And it has all the yellow behind it. God damn it. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I think, oh, Mana. Mana uses that deck. By the way, I hope she's doing okay. I haven't seen her in a long time. Anyway, first card out, world, <laughs> fixed energy. So Leo, Taurus, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn, a whole new cycle is starting. Oh, also indicative of travel. I do feel some travel. Europe is coming to me. Oh, and Asia, Europe and Asia. Some of you guys are be traveling there. Some of you guys are coming home actually. Interesting, some of you guys are coming home from those places, from foreign countries. Being drawn to that water. Oh, 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 this is interesting. Okay, Gemini's hanging there with me. You guys know I talk a lot with you and I'm getting a lot of crazy downloads. Gemini, there's a rebirthing process going on here. For some, it's a transmutation. That water, it's like, I can I can almost feel this energy like wrapping around, around me. For some, it's Kundalini energy. But I definitely feel a rebirthing happening. There's a major change going on with you, Geminis, or someone you're connected to. Wow, Seven of Swords. Holy shit, Aquarian energy. Was not expecting that. Someone's trying to fight this process. Whoever's going through this transformation, you or someone you're connected with, they're fighting this process. They're a little, they're scared of it. They don't know what's going on. They're trying to resist it, but they can't. They're kind of freaking out. They don't know what's happening to them. Oh, this is, oh, I feel bad for them. They're scared. Like, they're actually scared. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Yeah, that Seven of Swords, I've never felt that before. Just, like, resistance and trying to run away from it. But they can't run from it. They just don't know how to cope with it. Any other messages for Gemini? Regarding love from now until August 14th. <laughs> sorry guys I was like trying to focus on the messages and I just got something about a past life this has been happening more and more uh the I don't know how to say that they just showed me the word uh Byz Byzantine Byzantine Empire shit we're going way back that's like that's like one of the first recorded empires I'm saying recorded because you know y'all know how that shit works <laughs> um, just because something's recorded doesn't mean it was the first right what is with this? 
they're not giving me much more than that. They're not giving me much more than that. It's like someone has someone has a past life connection there. Uh, it's coming up right now. Whoever has this connection, it's one person. I do feel like it's someone who's watching me. I do feel like it's someone who's watching me. You might have been getting flashes of this life and not sure what to make of it because you didn't know what you were seeing. You saw a lot of symbols. They're showing me what you saw. Yeah, it's like they show you, they showed you symbols and sto like stones, but it's like it, they're structures. Living quarters, thank you. Living quarters. Isolation. That's all I'm getting with that. For for whoever that's that's for, because you already you've already seen what you've seen about it. Um, that's that's something that's an issue right now in your current life or what you're dealing with right now. Whatever anxiety you're having, it's related to that. So try to meditate on it. Anyway, going back to the rest of the Gemini's. Any other messages for Gemini's? Any other messages for Gemini's regarding love from now until August fourteenth? I'm picking up winter as well. Wow, wow, Wheel of Fortune Universe, Jupiter Energy. Whoever's resisting this, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you can't fight this. You have the world and Wheel of Fortune. You got heavy karma shit here. A lot of divine timing, fate as well. You can't fight this, this rebirth, this transmutation. Um, for some, it's just a straight up Kundalini awakening that someone's resisting. Stop it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't stop it. It's happening. It's already in motion. You, you can't, you can't stop this from happening. It's already occurring. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's, it's basically just causing a major delays for you. Okay. The more you fight it, the more delayed your life will be. So just, just stop it. Just stop it. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th? Any other messages for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th? Any other messages for Gemini? Oh, what did I say about destiny? The star, Aquarian energy, last card out, guys. This is destiny. Stop fighting the process. It's supposed to happen. The more you resist, the harder it's going to be. It, especially if this is an awakening or a start of ascension process for some of you. The more you fight it, the oh my god, it's just gonna be really horrible. So just don't fight it. Don't fight it. It's destiny. And there's also healing on the other end of this. I feel like this is definitely for this is energy around someone who's never experienced something like this before. Oh, come back. Who's never experienced something like this before. And I think they don't understand that on the other side of it, there's so much healing. There's so much freaking healing and definitely an arise, a rise in energy, rise in frequency. They, oh, this person might, the energy I'm picking up on some of you who are experiencing this, you might be a star seed and not realize it. Overall energy, look at that. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, it's like, this is an amazing process. Stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. <laughs> Sorry. Stop fighting it. Um, I am also picking up on another group here. Could also pertain to the same group, but it feels very separate. Um where there is a need to uh, a need to look at their environment, a need to look at the environment and the people in it. While someone here is starting a whole new cycle for themselves and it's really beautiful, it is like a com almost like someone's changing their life, completely changing their life. There is a lot of sabotage at play trying to delay it. There is a lot of sabotage at, uh, at play trying to delay it, but you can't stop what's meant to be. You can't stop what's meant to be. So if you're dealing with people who are trying to fuck up your shit, just try to move away from them as much as possible. Cut them out of your life because your destiny is your destiny. What's meant for you is meant for you. So people can delay it. You could even delay it, right? Just like the energy group I was picking up on where there's like fighting this ascension process, awakening process, transmutation process, rebirthing process. Um, you can delay whatever you want to delay, but whatever's going to happen is going to happen. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Is there free will? Of course, of course. But I'm. this is energy of people really being on their path to their destiny, who they're supposed to be, okay? And it's wanted. Like, that's the thing that's, like, really chipping me up with both groups. This is something that's wanted, and it's been in the works for a while, getting more of that incubation energy. So let's break this down a little bit more. I'm really curious about the world. I'm really curious to see what we get with the world. Okay, using right away to clarify. Tell me about the world. 
or Gemini. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. The lovers. Hi, Geminis. Gemini energy. This is also my divine soul connection card. Whatever label you want to put on it. This is a divinely guided union for some of you that's trying to come to the forefront. It is part of this awakening process. I'm also getting um, merging or balancing. Harmonizing. Oh, thank you. Harmonizing of masculine and feminine energies within oneself. Definitely getting that as well. The star in reverse. Where are we ending on the other side? Star upright. Yeah, exactly. While all this resistance is going on, whether it's just someone resisting an awakening process, again, ascension process, all of all the processes I described, or someone's trying to fight um, someone's new chapter, they can't. It's yours, okay? Star in reverse, Aquarian energy. And then we have the emperor. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Definitely some dm df divine masculine divine feminine stuff going on here okay uh, emperor aries energy taurus energy divine masculine energy big boss i just heard big boss oh and king that gave me the chills for some reason king that's resonating for someone they're they're now they're shouting it at me oh i this is okay why is this coming up again? Um, they're bringing me up that they're bringing up that past life again for whoever that's for, because it's definitely just for one person. I am king. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Wow. I like I barely started shuffling the cards and those flew out at my face. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more about the world for Gemini's. Yeah, I'm like, sorry, they're stopping me. Okay, because I don't want to confuse anybody because I was picking up on a lot of different stuff. Like I said, for some, this is an ascension process that really can't be stopped. Harmonizing the masculine and feminine energies within oneself, and it is a masculine energy, male or female, a masculine energy who's experiencing this whole new cycle for themselves, but they're resisting it. They're resisting it because they're terrified because they don't understand what's going on. Um, sorry, they're stopping me again. I feel like I'm, some people are watching me who are connected to this person. If you're connected to this person, I'm getting this energy of like, they've been awakened. They have, but they haven't, is what they're telling me. It's like, they're aware, they haven't ascended. They're ascending for those who are in that little group. Um, but again, that resistance, because they're terrified, right? But it's just delaying the inevitable of their own ascension process. Um, and for those where it's like, this is a connection trying to birth, right? That Like I said, the incubation energy, it's like there's a connection that's been trying to like emerge and grow. That's what this is. That's what this is. There's a masculine energy here who's been afraid of it, who's been afraid of it. Um, but they're, I'm here. They're telling me I'm here again. I'm here. They're showing up. They're showing up, but there's resistance here against this connection causing delays but you can't stop what's the, what's what's meant to be yeah there's some jealous energies regarding that little energy group i'm picking up on where there's a, an amazing an amazing connection an amazing connection trying to emerge trying to come to the forefront a masculine energy who's been afraid of it wants it they're showing up now they're showing up now but there's a lot of resistance and active 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 sabotage to try to stop this connection because of jealous energies i feel like around this masculine energy but they can't stop what's meant to be okay let's keep it going <laughs> seven of wands leo energy this emperor wants it but like i said there's resistance there's resistance um with this ascension process this is them fighting it this is them fighting it ace of wands on the bottom all right let's see what other cards we get out here and then we're gonna look at that seven of swords i'm not liking that seven of swords eight of cups piscean energy i'm really happy to see this out here because those where there's a connection trying to emerge and this masculine energy is this masculine energy is experiencing such resistance. By the way, two sevens, synchronicities, um, experiencing this resistance. They're ready. They're ready to just leave these people behind. They know they have to. Oh, okay. They know they have to. They're in process of doing that, of figuring out how to do that. And others where they're fighting this ascension process. Again, this could be you. Um, it's a very masculine energy, so take that as it resonates. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they just want to run away from it. They want to run away from it. They want their 10 of cups. No matter what, they want their 10 of cups, but they're just definitely afraid of this process. 
again, trying to run away from it, trying to run away from it, but they can't run from it. It's already happened. Tell me about the world. Three of wands, there's that anticipation energy, Aries energy. There's distance too, I'm sensing, between energies. Like this masculine energy for that love connection I was sensing, there's a gap. There's a major gap. It could be geographical distance or just emotional. <sighs> solar, something with the solar. They're wondering if they are enough. This is interesting. They want it, but but there's this there's this little seed of doubt that I'm sensing with them. They wonder if they're enough. They wonder if they're enough. And also with this ascension energy that I'm getting, it's oh God. They're so scared. Um, God, I feel I feel I feel for them because they just don't understand what's going on. Um, it's almost like, well, what now? What's what's happening next? What's what now? What what else am I going to experience? What else is going to happen to me? They're trying to stay confident, though. But again, they're trying to fight it. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Ha! <laughs> Some odds came out again. This is really just representing a new start is really what I'm getting. Just that new chapter that's trying to start after this ascension process is finished. Um, for these masculine energies who want this connection. It's that new start. It's that wanting. The wanting of the Ten of Cups. It's like it's wanting, wanting, desiring, desiring. Just love and peace and harmony in their life no matter what happens. That's all they want. They're trying to keep their focus on that. The end goal. That's what they're trying to keep their focus on. But for those who are terrified of this ascension or awakening process, it's like they don't really know how to get there because they don't know what's going on. Tell me about the world overall energy oh boy yeah six of wands in reverse leo energy they yeah again this ascension process they can't figure out what the fuck is going on with them physically and it's definitely about the physical aspects of it they don't know what's going on with them physically it just feels like a whole new experience for them and it's scary it's scary i'm also getting lack of recognition i'm picking this up for the uh the love connection that i'm getting here lack of recognition Took them a long time to recognize it. Took them a long time to recognize it. I'm also getting more about the people around them. Don't recognize what this is. Don't recognize what's going on with them. Like I'm almost hearing like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. All right, so let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Let's look at the Seven of Swords because that act of sabotage for that love connection, I'm really not liking that. I'm really not liking that. Using Gilda Tarot to clarify. Then we'll go to the star and then we'll pull some advice. Tell me about seven of swords. Tell me about seven of swords for Gemini regarding love. From now to August 14th. Tell me about seven of swords for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th. I'm getting a lot of Kundalini energy again for some reason. Um, uh, for those masculine energies that are afraid of what's happening, they're experiencing Kundalini energy for the first time and it's scary to them. Some are, oh wow, some, some actually think they're having seizures and they're not, they're not. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Gemini regarding love. <laughs> Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, these energies that don't want this, this connection to emerge, be, they don't want this connection to emerge because it's actually releasing a lot of toxicity in this masculine's life, a lot of codependency issues as well. Codependency is coming in really strong. Um, and that's why they're, they're trying to fight this connection because it's releasing them it's releasing this masculine from things that don't serve them i'm hearing clutches that's interesting Cl clutches of others the clutches of others oh so yeah seven of pentacles in reverse and because i'm actually getting anxiety with this taurus energy that's interesting i never get anxiety off of this card <laughs> it's making those energies anxious that's funny 
it's making those energies anxious. And again, with the energy of fighting this ascension process, they're terrified, but it, it's really helping them. Oh, again, that anxiety, that fear, that fear, that fear that it's like something wrong is happening, but it's not wrong. It's actually just releasing them. It's helping them rise, even if they're trying to fight it. Tell me more about the seven, two of pentacles in reverse. A decision's been made. A decision's been made. This is regarding the Kalev connection. A decision's been made. They're getting really fed up with these energies. The Again, regarding the love connection. I'm getting really sick of these energies. Um, like, I've made my choice. You can respect that or you can get the hell out of my way. It's, it's that kind of energy. And those where they're fighting that ascension, if they just, again, they're just confused. They're confused. Let's see what else we have here. Talk about Seven of Swords. Talk about Seven of Swords. Oh, yeah. Talk about Seven of Swords. For Gemini, regarding love. From now until August 14th. All right, so we have one other card. <laughs> We have one other card out here. Uh, Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, they're not dealing with these people anymore. They're not going to. They're not going to. They're causing too much of an issue for them regarding this connection. Yeah, causing way too much of an issue issue regarding this connection. They don't want to deal with them. They don't want to talk to them. They don't want to make plans with them. They just want them gone. They just want them gone. And for those where they're fighting this ascension, they're just trying to find their footing. They're just trying to find their footing so they can at least just try to deal with what's happening to them. Overall energy, it's the Seven of Swords. <laughs> seven of Swords has overall energy of Seven of Swords. Aquarian energy. Underneath that, we do have the star. What did I say? Destiny. It's it's just, it's meant to be. It's supposed to happen. Can't stop what's supposed to happen. All right, let's look at the star and then we'll go ahead and pull some advice here. Using steampunk to clarify star. Tell me about the star. about the star <laughs> oh i love it ace of swords first clarifier for the star oh my god that's freaking beautiful look at that look at that look at that look at that it's true it's just the truth it's destiny it's true destiny whole lot of clarity and understanding yeah on the other side of this ascension they're gonna they're just gonna get it it's like oh my god like their eyes are just gonna open up their eyes are going to open up. I'm also getting something about honesty. I feel like it's regarding this love connection. Something about honesty is coming forward. Believe it. I just heard believe it. Believe what you hear. Oh, okay. Believe what you hear. From them. <laughs> it's funny how my guys wanted to put that little footnote on the, on the end of it. From them. Yeah, so any anyone who's um, going to be receiving communication from this emperor energy, believe what they say is what they're telling me, even if it's really hard to. <laughs> so, okay, guys, I can hear you guys like, yeah, right. I can't like, I can't believe someone who's done this. I can't believe someone who's done that. That's what my guides are telling me. I'm just the messenger. Tell me about the star for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about the star. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards. Really? I'm taking, oh God, okay. They want me to take these cards, it's a lot. We have Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, could also be Aries or Leo. We have a Queen of Wands, Aries energy, could also be Fire or Water. Five of Swords, interesting. Venus and Aquarian energy. Ooh, death in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Four of Swords, Libra energy. Oh, wow. And then the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire here. Yeah, this Emperor is coming in as a Knight. Coming in as a Knight to a Queen of Wands. Uh, my feminine energies, I do feel like this is you. You're coming across as a Queen of Wands. Don't be deterred. I feel some of you are perturbed. Um, they, they just see you as very, very attractive, very magnetic. They can't, they can't resist you. The pull is too strong is what they're telling me. The pull is too strong to resist you. This Five of Swords in this deck is actually very different. It's actually about forgiveness upright. You see how they, they're holding the swords and it's like, they're not threatening him. It's like someone who's carrying the pain. It's like these two are trying to make peace. 
trying to make peace. They want to come in and make peace here, my feminine energies. They want to bring in truth as well. And it's supposed to happen. It's very clear that it's supposed to happen. Um, a lot of passion here. They're going to come in quick, guys. They're going to come in really quick. And then we have this death in reverse. Like, when I say quick, you're not going to know what hit you. Feminine, My feminine energies here, my queen of wands. You're not going to know what hit you. It's, it's like... It's gonna go from like zero to 180 as far as communication is concerned or like their their behavior, their action, the energy they give you, thank you. The energy they give you is gonna go from like zero to 180 from whatever it's at now, it, it's gonna hit up like 10, 20 notches, okay? But anyway, so Death in Reverse with the Four of Swords and Knight of Pentacles, this is growth and healing. Growth and healing, again, I'm getting that rebirth energy with Death in Reverse. Yeah, this masculine energy has grown a lot. They've grown a lot and they wanna build, mend, repair these are words that just they're giving me all right let's see what else we get and then we'll wrap it up and remember this is on the other side of their ascension process as well once they stop fighting it so i got the star because they just don't understand what's going on and once they're on the other side of it they're gonna have full understanding full understanding so i got the star for Gemini regarding love from now until August 14th. Whoa, okay. <laughs> what did I say? A decision's been made. Page of Cups. Page of Cups and the Two of Wands in reverse. Emotion is going to be given here. Emotion is going to be spoken, spoken and given, spoken and given. Believe them. Believe them, feminines. They're coming in with some heart, with full truth. Ace of Swords is the full truth. And especially, this is all clarifying the star, which is healing, and not to mention I was getting heavy destiny here. Wow. Overall energy, we have Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. I actually feel like this is the feminine's energy, feminine energies that are, that are watching me right now. But <clears throat> I feel like this is your energy. Very independent. Very, very independent and very strong. Wow. A lot of confidence. A lot of confidence. This confidence is pulling them in. That's also why you're coming across as a Queen of Wands. Again, regardless of your sign and regardless of how you feel about the card, because I can tell some of you just don't like the card. Um, this is just a hell of a lot of confidence and it's very attractive and it's pulling them in really, really, really hard. And with this Queen of Wands, there is also an energy of law of attraction with this card. Um, my feminines, you might not have realized it, but you've been attracting them closer using law of attraction. Oh, some of you do know. Okay. <laughs> some of you do know. Others of you are like, oh, really? Yes. Yes, you have. You have. You have. You've leveled up a lot, feminines, is what I'm getting over the last six, six months, six years. Um, you've leveled up a lot. Interesting. Yeah, this is about the love connection, guys. You've gotten to the point where you're ready. They needed to catch up, is what I'm getting. They needed to catch up. Okay. All right, so let's pull some advice. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? This is a beautiful read. Oh my God. Very beautiful read. And the, with this emperor, I really hope that, you know, they get through this ascension awakening. I feel like it's more of an ascension, to be honest with you. I feel like it's more of an ascension um, transmutation. I hope they get through it relatively okay. Um, once they stop fighting it, it'll be so much easier. So, because I know some of you guys watch me and I can feel you. You're okay. You're not dying. I promise. You're not dying. You're not having seizures. Again, I'm not a medical doctor, but for those that are resonating with this, and again, I'm not a medical doctor. If you think you're having seizures, by all means, go ahead and get checked out. Um, you are, you're okay. Okay, I promise. You're okay. You just got to stop fighting it. You got to go with the flow one day at a time, okay? One day at a time. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Dove spirit, be peace. What did I say? One day at a time, guys. 21 breaking down to a three. I feel like 21 significant for a lot of you. Um, and it's funny because when I looked at the world card, I was drawn to that and I almost said it and I was like, no, it's just it's just the world card. It's just 21. It's just 21. But it was it did jump out at me. Um, so dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. <sighs> One day at a time, masculine energies. One day at a time. 
this is a beautiful energy you're coming into okay this is basically ascended energy it's divine energy look at all that white and purple all the upper chakras you're realizing how connected you are to source and you're realizing <laughs> sorry i just heard oh shit this is real <laughs> I love it, I love it on my oven as I said that. Okay, that's funny. Oh my God. Anyway, there is going to be a lot of peace and calm and harmony at the end of this. You gotta stop fighting it. And those who are experiencing energies that are resisting this connection coming forward, you just gotta get away from them. You gotta cut them out. You gotta cut them out. Any other advice for my Geminis? Oh boy. Oh yeah, frog spirit. What did I just say? Clear out the clutter. 28 cyclical energy so closing of cycles the world we started with a cyclical energy oh dolphin spirit this and that are true 20 breaking down to a two this is a very gemini card for me because it is about accepting old parts of yourself and incorporating the new parts of yourself and also really harmonizing the shadow side and the light side the masculine the feminine side because dolphins they go up and they go down they go up and they go down they're in the light then they're in the dark depths of the sea right harmonizing those two energies and then skunk spirit know your worth know your worth what did i say this some of these masculine energies are not sure that they're enough you're enough you're enough masculine energies you're enough know your worth 54 breaking down to a nine yeah all of this take out the trash of these energies that are fighting this okay <laughs> get and keep purging keep purging any toxic tendencies codependent tendencies i'm also hearing self-sabotage energies Get rid of that shit, get it out of your energy, get it out of yourself, get it out of your essence, start harmonizing, start harmonizing and incorporating the masculine and feminine energies within yourself. And you'll start to realize that, hey, this was meant for you. This wouldn't be happening to you if it wasn't yours, okay? Know your worth, masculines. I know, feminines, I'm sorry. You're like, where is my, <laughs> where's my reading? This is your reading. This is your reading. Hold on, let me get some water. <clears throat> Mm. when i set the intention guys for readings it's for messages that need to come through for those who need to hear them okay for those who need to hear them so even if you think you don't need to be hearing this you clearly need to be hearing this for those that this is resonating with okay all right let's see what else we get this will be the last run any other advice for my gemini's regarding this spread and if it wasn't your reading this week, other people really had to hear this, okay? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Okay, overall, oh, very nice. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. 29 breaking down to an 11. This is, what did I say? Where's that card? Where's the Ace of Swords? full clarity and understanding full clarity and understanding oh okay they're they're telling me that some people here masculine energies and feminine energies as well are overthinking this and in your overthinking you're actually narrowing your mindset you're narrowing your perspective of what's going on here let be what needs to be let be that's a weird way to say that just let be it just is what it is you can't quantify it thank you yeah some of you are trying to like yeah it's like some of you are almost thinking about it in a scientific way like a mathematical way and believe me there is actually some great metaphysics behind all this stuff um don't get the nerd in me started um but you can't label everything you can't put everything in a box thank you you can't put everything in a box you can't restrict what this is because it's so cosmic and etherical it just is what it is and the more you try to do that like put this in a little box and label every little aspect of this and try to make it make sense in a logical way you're gonna make yourself insane so don't do that okay do not do that it is what it is try to calm yourself meditate try to get out of the three-dimensional way of looking at this for those that are struggling with this and you'll get it You'll get the full understanding and of course those are going through an, those who are going through an ascension process please take your time one day at a time okay please take your time you will get full understanding of what's going on with you all right oh, wow 
<laughs> Gemini's, what a way to start the day. You're my first read of the day. I'm gonna do um, Libra after I do the partner reading for Patreon. Um, but I hope this was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste, Gemini's.